Hey guys, I had an interesting game that I wanted to share with you that uh, showed me, I guess, a new, not really a new strat, but I guess well, how important it is to, I guess, play Tamsin a particular way. So in this game, I was playing Surf Inley, got the Tamsin hero, um, and specifically was really looking to play dragons um, throughout most of this game. Um, and I just wasn't having any luck finding a poet. Uh, it turns out the other guy that went top in the lobby was playing dragons, and um, I was playing demons, and demons kind of make their name by being big stats. Um, luckily, I, like I'll be honest, it was a pretty weak lobby, and you know no one else was really doing any type of scaling at all. Um, and that really just made it so because I was doing some scaling, I at least had something. But um, I guess the way that I find playing Tamsin like the most importantly is generally every board you'll have six units that you can scale relatively easily um or it might be five units of bran and then like you know whatever I minion you're kind of swapping around um and i guess this should kind of show you how important it is that when playing tamsin you really want to finish with six um solid minions on your board um and the reason for that is if you have six like hundred hundreds um, then one of them dies, you lose 100-100, but you're getting 5-100-100 buffs on your board. Um, this obviously makes you more open to scam, um, but this was a non-Bramble uh, Witch lobby, which made it so, you know, the true scam that they could do is very limited. Um, I think there was also no Murlocs either, so that scam is not there. So really the only scam in this game is stuff like Leroy's and the uh, Nagas that can get Venomous. So with that... You have better buffs that way. Um, and then the other real thing that made this, like, I get, think a lot better and gave me a lot more value was taking the chest set as my greater trinket. And what this really did was make it so, let's do our example of having six 100-100s as your finishing board. Um, you end up with five 200-200s. Well, now you're copying that first minion that's a 200-200 buff, and you're getting a you know 20% better board off of just your greater trinket every turn. Um, which, in my opinion, seemed like pretty good return from my uh, trinket placement. It gave you, me like a six minion, um, especially because this was a Naga lobby. It was really easy to find ways to divine shield my first minion, and this really gave me a lot of strong capabilities to beat out um, the like the scaling that the rest of the lobby doing, which was like I said, pretty minimal at the start. Um, and this really made it so you can see like the last. Like, me and this other guy were essentially just completely wrecking the lobby. I think I faced him once on, like, turn, like, 7 or something. We tied. I noticed how strong he was. And then he and I just literally wiped up the rest of the lobby from there. Um, and then we ended up doing something like four rounds back-to-back -to, -back to, to finally, like, secure, secure, like, the win from there. Um, but it was definitely a longer game. Um, and a really fun one uh, to show that this way of playing demons, especially in a non-Bramble Witch lobby, like... Demons are the stat king, and if you don't have a good way to scan them, they're really hard to beat. So hopefully this is kind of like a little lesson for you. Hopefully kind of knowing how the lobby plays out by just looking at the tribes will give you a lot of direction. If you see that there's no Bramble, there's no Merlex, really finding a good stat um, board will make it so easy in the late game that you have very little um, to actually think about. It. And really it's just go get bigger than your opponent so hopefully this helps um hopefully you guys can use this hopefully uh helps you in your climb see you out there bye